Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well, having a good day. So I am out in my backyard and I am doing a new project on my back steps, something that I wanted to do for a long time and I thought I'd turn the camera on and bring you guys with me and show you uh, part of the process. Right now I've actually been spreading or cutting away a little bit of the sod and spreading mulch along this area on my stairs and I need to do that all the way down. There's a little marigold that is Eve's that she picked up for one of her, for her special uh, container that she's planting, <laughs> but she's left it on the back steps. But anyway, so what I'm gonna be doing here is mulching up this side, and then I'm going to be planting actually next to the steps so that it grows through across the steps a ridger on daisies. Now this is something I'm going to show an inspiration photo on the screen so you know off the bat what I'm going for. So there was an episode of Gardener's World a couple of years ago and I have been trying to find that episode to play it back uh, for inspiration and I can't find it. But they basically toured a noble house and it had a beautiful garden of course and they had these lovely stone steps that were just full of a ridger on daisies and it looked so romantic and so natural and organic and that's something that a look I'm always aiming for, that sort of planned yet unplanned soft garden. And I wanted to recreate that look in my garden. So I actually found some starts. I was just gonna originally plant seeds, but I locally found some starts of Origeron daisies and I'm gonna get those in the ground and see how they spread. I hope they do well. This is a total experiment. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys where my Origeron daisies are. So, there's some gar in here. But these are the Origeron daisies, also known as Mexican fleabane. They are in the aster family. They are perennial depending on the variety, also can be a biennial or an annual depending on where you live. These get about 12 inches tall, they have a mounding growth, and they are drought tolerant, deer resistant, and a lovely ground cover. They just look soft and fluffy, and I'm excited to try this experiment in my stairs. They thrive in full sun, so hopefully they will do really well um, in that sunny, hot location against the stone. I also wanted to show you guys that the chamomile is starting to bloom. It is actually hot today. It's about 70 degrees and it's humid, so it feels so hot, especially since it's been so cold. So I have my Origeron daisies and I'm gonna be planting them in the corners of the stairs, kind of at an angle. And then I want them to be able to spread along the risers in the cracks where there is some soil and things um, there for them to kind of spread and latch onto. There have been weeds that pop up in these risers, so I think these will be able to spread themselves around, but this is an experiment, and I am now that I've only got five of these, and now that I'm looking at this, I need at least, I need at least ten. So I'm going to try to go back to the nursery I found these and see if they have any more and buy the rest of them. So I want to make sure that I mention that I'm going to be using Biotone Starter Fertilizer to get these going. I've got my little trowel here and I'm going to be planting them in these corners. And I might even add in a tiny bit of compost into these holes.
the camera overheated and there might have been an issue with my mic, but I've got so far five of the Ridgeron daisies in place. One, two, there's a third one, a fourth one down here towards the bottom of the stairs, and then the fifth one at the base of this generous gardener and I believe it's East River uh, Clematis. And then I'm going to see if I can go get some more right now and then come back and check in with you guys later and finish up this project. Continue mulching down here and then I will be mulching the rest of this terrace. I had just weeded it yesterday. Look at how this red campion is doing. It is definitely um, fading in and out, but blooming its head off. I've got one here and another one further down and they are spreading themselves around, but it's aggressive, but it is certainly beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna go run those errands and pick up my son from school and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys later this evening. Okay, so I made it back from school pickup and errands and I have some plants that I picked up. Not all of these that I pick up today, but um, quite a few of them I picked up today. Like I picked up the lilac and the hydrangea um, and some more nepeta and things the other day. Some of these are the heirloom chrysanthemums cuttings I've been growing on, but I picked up some of this columbine or granny's bonnet, some campanula and some evening primrose, Irish moss, some some Carpathian harebells, and then uh, the, the uh, Mexican fleabane or the Origeron daisies. Now that I'm thinking about it, when I was driving home, I thought, well, maybe I should have got even more of the Origeron daisies to plant actually in the wall. How pretty would that be to have those Origeron daisies coming out of the wall and making it look really nice and soft with all those tufts of flowers? But maybe I'll see if I can head back another day and if they're still there. Um, that will be my sign to go ahead and do that. Um, but now I'm gonna finish planting up along the steps. I'm gonna try to also finish mulching it and let's get started. So I picked up six more of their Ridgeron daisies and I've laid them out. Two, so there's four and then the last two ones tucked in here. I'm gonna see if I can make a little planting well here. Thank you, Prairie. And then one up here. So we'll see how that works out. I still need to plant that tray of primulas I have. I think I'm gonna do that too. Just get those in the ground. So they've been drying out very quickly. But yes, here's the evening primrose and then the Irish moss are also gonna go along the steps. Like I've got some Irish moss going already up here in several places. Try and on this side as well, trying to help with uh, erosion. It's got some mulch on top of it. So I did want to mention the variety of this Erigeron is Profusion, Erigeron Daisy. Okay, so off camera, I just got these three late snow primulas planted along the steps here, next to the steps. And those will get about 12 to 18 inches high and be this little bright pop of white as you're walking up the stairs. I love all of those little dainty flowers right at eye level. There's something so magical about that. And then I have placed the three pink primroses here 
here and here. I, I placed the five Ice Princess Primeos here, here, one there, and then two over here. So I'm gonna plant those up really quick. And then I think I'm just gonna do a big block of these Carpathian harebells, uh, the five right here, but I might change my mind and move them down, but I kind of like the idea of them showing up in greater impact in one drift. Okay, so I got all those bits planted in the ground and I mulched around the steps and let me show you what I did. Okay, so this area by the stairs is now planted and mulched. I can't wait to see this arbor smothered in generous gardener roses and clematis. The Generous Gardener is pink, and then the clematis I have is a purpley blue. And I hope that just looks beautiful together. I think that it will. Here's some muscari down here that you couldn't even really see before. It is going over, but it is a light blue variety. It's a little snowdrop. You can really see the Claire Austin rose. In this spot right here, I'm gonna be planting that Paul Farge clematis. And actually, I kind of forgot until this moment that I was gonna put it there before I mulched, but I will, I will get to it. I'm thinking of planting it in a baseless pot there because there are so many roots from the cedar tree. Um, but we're just gonna have to kind of see when I start digging, if I am able to dig a big enough hole. But uh, I have planted more Irish moss along the steps, and that is mostly um, for the purpose of helping with erosion and I love Irish moss. It will get tiny little white blooms on it. You can step on it, and it just kind of has this nice little spreading habit, but very nice coming down this slope for erosion. So I've got lots of those planted close together. We've got all the Erigeron daisies here. These two wildy roses. I will be replacing the one whenever I can get my hands on another wild eve. So there are three here. I like to keep things in odd numbers if I can. It's not, so these will kind of grow up and look like a nice little clump, but I still would like a third one. And then uh, some more Irish moss. Now all of these little sprinter boxwoods that the deer got, they are putting on new growth. So they're not completely gone. I still haven't uh, pruned them myself. Uh, but I think I will do that and just kind of let them stay and see what they do. 
So here's the, I believe it's East River, maybe Star River, Clematis along the arbor, along with the generous gardener rose, more Rigeron daisies, more Rigeron daisies. There's the Gertrude Jekyll rose next to some Daytona tulips that I didn't realize were there when I planted uh, the rose this spring. The other East River clematis and generous gardener rose, more of the Rigeron daisies, Irish moss, Rigeron daisies, and then I planted that, those trio of the late snow primulas here. I've planted the three evening primrose in this section. I think it will look nice because I have some dark magenta colored phlox here, three of those in this area, as well as the cat's meow Nepeta and then the geranium fam raven back here. So, and then also this salvia. So there's a lot of purple. So I think that nice little light pink will look good. Of course, back behind it is a Francis Mayan rose and some irises. I think those are silverado. So that's a really silvery blue color. And then that big rose there is Emily Braun, or uh, no, Mill on the Floss. And then here's another geranium fam raven. One of my favorite hardy geraniums. These columbine are blooming and looking beautiful. There's another one over here behind the nepeta. And then I planted, so I planted five. There's one, two three right there and then where are the others oh here four five this is the ice princess primula so that'll be nice again a spring color next year and then last but not least here's some little stock seedlings i planted we'll see how those do are the five harebells one two three four five and those grow about 10 inches tall and on the tag, these just came from my Fred Meyer grocery store and they said that they were, they could either be blue or white. So we'll see what they end up being. But I also bought those tall uh, campanulas and I think I'm gonna, there's three. So I think I'm gonna plant them right there. I think that'll be the perfect spot for them. And those could either be blue, purple, or pink. And I'm really hoping there's some pink ones in there. And I plan to start Campanulas, those those type of campanulas from seed as well. Okay, so it is starting to rain and I've wrapped up everything that I wanted to get done this evening. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy gardening.